Good morning, Anne Murphy here. How are you today? Welcome to the Domestic Goddess DIY uh, Beauty Spa at Home Treatment Center. Uh, today I want to share with you just how easy it is to create that DIY um, home spa treatment um, place for you at home and why you should do it and just how easy it is with some of these ingredients that you've probably got in the pantry or the fridge and why it's going to be so much um, benefit to you so first of all thanks for joining me say hi if you're here just before I start I just want to check double check that I am in fact in the group because I do tend to appear in um, other places where I shouldn't I'm just checking that now because I'm going live on my phone and um, just checking. Hi Jen, how are you? I'm glad you're watching because I might need your advice on um, the essential um, oils. So um, I've got my... Hi Alison, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a nice day out today. Yeah, I've got my essential oils, Jen, and um, I know how beneficial they are for some of these um, DIY treatments. So the first thing I just want to cover quickly, and I've got oodles and oodles of recipes, and I won't share them all with you today, but I am in the process of creating a document um, to uh, with all the recipes for lots of different treatments. So once I've got that fine-tuned, I'll upload it. But why I believe, um, oh, good on you, Jen. Um, Jen's just doing some laundry uh, with COVID of course you know a lot of places are still shut down and there's that risk it's still live and active and going out to a day spa you know you run that risk unless you wear masks how can you get a facial done if you're wearing a mask blah 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 um, time is also another factor and I, I am one for loving to go out and um, pamper myself whether it's a, um, a pedicure or a manicure or um, getting my face done, a facial or some sort of hair treatment. But when you factor in that time, it might only take 20 minutes for the actual treatment, but you've got to get in the car, you've got to go down there, it's taking you away from whatever you were doing at home. And sure, you know, there, you can do that. But when you're limited on time, which we all are, Factoring in just 10 minutes of um, your day to pamper yourself with th some of these things that you've got just sitting here in your pantry. Um, you know, what's better than that? The other thing I wanted to tell you why you should be doing it is to treat yourself. And I think that we're all too hard on ourselves. You know, we're worrying about everybody else in the family. We're worrying about whether their needs are being met. You deserve this. You deserve this treatment. You deserve to look after your skin and your body and um, use some of these simple recipes to take that 10 minutes out, whether you incorporate it into your shower time or have a soaking bath once the children have gone to school. Who wrote the rules about what time you should have a bath? You know, have a bath at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, all of these things you should be treating yourself. And another thing that I like to do is use a system so if I am doing it if I know I've got a chore to do I can say well if I do this then my reward is a facial or a pedicure or a foot spa or just a nice relaxing shower with a body scrub so use it as a reward system for yourself obviously the benefits are really good when you're looking after your skin um, and caring for your hair and um, you know, there's so many uh, benefits with the um, natural ingredients. You're not using any chemicals. You're using natural um, essential oils. So there's so many benefits to all of these products. Um, and also, it's cost effective. That's that's one of the main reasons. Gosh, I couldn't even begin to tell you how much some of those treatments are in the beauty, beauty um, spas, the salons. Um, yes, great. Jen's just said um, she loves rewards that aren't food. I do love rewards that are food, but um, these are really useful rewards that are going to benefit your skin and your overall health. 
and they're very luxurious so um, you know why wouldn't you do that for yourself so the cost effective side of, of it as well you know if you've got all of these things in your pantry you don't even have to go out and buy anything special for it so that's that's the best thing so it's time um, money the rewards the benefits for your skin and just being able to like you could put a, a face mask on while you're looking uh, like looking after the children I remember when my daughter was really young we had a little mummy daughter day spa um, event even though it was excruciating at times and there was mess everywhere but she would do my nails or we'd do a little face mask or whatever. So even if you've got children, you know, incorporate them into that and you're getting that reward, you're getting that benefit for your skin. So I've got a couple of recipes that I want to share with you, but I've just gone through the pantry this morning and just picked out a few things that I've got, which I'm sure all of you have got. But the number one product that I believe everyone should have in their house is coconut oil you have got no idea how this amazing wonder wonder product oh good for you Alison Alison's doing a manicure while she's watching um, good on you coconut oil has so many benefits you wouldn't believe and I am I've got a um, document with all of the um, different ways that you can use coconut oil which I'll upload to the group but I'll just go through a few of them now. You can use it on your hair. So you can use it as a deep treatment on your hair. Um, just comb through, wrap it in a towel, uh, leave it in for 15 minutes and then wash and condition as normal. And it gives you a really good deep treatment. It's good for dandruff. It's good for um, taming frizz. For those in the North, Northern Hemisphere who are coming into humid, it's going to be great to control that frizz. It's a hair detangler. It encourages hair growth, which I need right now. Um, it protects your hair from sun damage. So if you're going out in the sun, um, comb it through. It thickens your eyebrows. So um, if you apply a small amount of coconut oil to your eyebrows um, and wipe it off with um, wipe off any excess, it will um, encourage growth on your eyebrows, which is what I need. You can use it as a shaving lotion for your legs or under your arms. It's excellent as a sulfate-free shampoo. So just on its own is excellent as shampoo. It cleans your hair brushes. Amazing. For your skin, you can do a DIY body butter, um, a cup of coconut oil, a teaspoon of vitamin E oil, and three drops of your favorite essential oil. And using a mix master or an egg beater, just mix it through to whip it up for six to seven minutes. Store it in a glass jar in a cool, dark place or the fridge and apply to your skin for an all-over moisturizing treatment for your body. And it smells nice. It's coconut. It's just lovely. And I've used it um, for medicinal purposes as well. If you've got um, nail fungus, like toenail fungus or discoloration of your toenails, just rub it in. Within a week, it goes. I've also used it for tinea. I had a little bit of tinea um, last winter and um, I just rubbed it in it was just it's also a wrinkle reducer just dab a touch around and under the eyes to help fight premature aging um, be careful around your eyes though it's an acne treatment you can use it as a face mask so one tablespoon of coconut oil two tablespoons of ground rolled old-fashioned oats and one tablespoon of honey is a perfect um, face scrub um, it's a moisturizer it's you can use it for exfoliating skin firming skin brightening um, so it's good for dark spots aging spots um, skin tightening a foot soak so you can just have coconut oil um, in two two teaspoons in a warm tub of water for as long as um, required. Now, my husband bought me one of those pedicure um, foot spas for Christmas, which I haven't But I have this tub, and it probably cost two or three dollars from the hardware or those dollar shops. And you, what, what, how multi purpose is that? You can use it for a foot spa or to soak your smalls or do some cleaning. 
Um, I've still got it out because I've been using it to clean my um, pantry, which I've got two shelves left to do, just two. Um, and I'll finish that today. But, um, you know, you don't have to have any fancy equipment either for your foot spas. It's an after sun soothing cream, baby ointment, stretch mark reducer. Um, you can have it in the shower. Be care careful when you use it in the shower or bath. But a third a cup of coconut oil, 10 drops of lavender oil and one cup of Epsom salts for a once a week detox bath. It draws out the toxins, balances pH levels and brings back balance into your well-being. Um, so many things in this document. It's a seven-page document that I'm going to upload into the group. Um, you can use it for body exfoliating, hydrating bath treatments, lock-in moisture after showers. Um, you can use it as a natural makeup um, product. You can use it to highlight your cheekbones, make a lip balm. I actually have a little jar in the bathroom that we have for winter for lip balm. Just dab it on our lips to um, soothe sore lips. A homemade eyeliner. It's perfect for makeup removing, makeup brush cleaning. Um, you can make your own vapor rub with um, coconut oil. And Jen will probably attest to this that essential oils like eucalyptus, peppermint, rosemary are good for um, medicinal purposes. The antifungal cream, like I mentioned, a cold sore treatment. Um, if you've got any open wounds like scratches or cuts, it's um, good as a salve for that. Eczema and uh, psoriasis cure treatment, constipation relief even, a homemade toothpaste, mouthwash, uh, etc., etc. It just goes on and on and on. And you can even use it on your pets if they have a skin condition. It's just a natural alternative for that. So if you don't have a jar of this, I know it's expensive, but when you think of just how much it can do, this one was probably about $8, I think. Um, it's just well worth it. And even if you were to give someone a practice, uh, Jen's just saying peppermint, lavender, tea tree, and eucalyptus are favourites when we're stuffy here. So they've got medicinal qualities, those essential oils, if you need it, um, need them. But if you were to give someone a gift of this, someone who probably couldn't afford um, coke, a jar of coconut oil with a printout of this um, document that I'm going to share, you know, that makes a lovely gift. Or you can make up any of these things into little jars. And we always joke in the group about us keeping our jars and they do come in handy for that. But this is just a little jar that I um, had from some hollandaise sauce. Still got the sticky um, label on it, but if you clean that up and you can cover the um, lid, you can spray paint the lid gold or silver or whatever, put a little label on it with um, how to apply it, and that makes, you can get even smaller jars, makes um, lovely gifts for people, especially with Mother's Day coming up next month for those um, that are celebrating Mother's Day next month. Now that's the number one um magical product that everyone should have in their pantry. The next one that I want to share is Epsom salts and they are just as good as well and I do have a another document with 40 uses for Epsom salts. You just wouldn't believe some of these things and things that our grandmothers and great grandmothers all used to fix ailments you know way before all these products came onto the market. So obviously we all know that um, Epsom salts is fantastic in the bath just pour it into a warm bath and let it dissolve. It's what you make um, bath bombs from, bath soaks, all sorts of things. Um, it's very relaxing and because it's magnesium, it does a great job of relieving minor aches and pains. So if you've been doing a workout and your muscles are sore, it's because of buildup of lactic acid and the Epsom salts um, relieves that. It's good for a foot soak because the same thing when you've been on your feet for a really long time or you've been exercising and your feet are sore or um, running or whatever, it's really good for that. Um, scrub your feet um, makes a great uh, foot scrub and peppermint oil, I believe, is good for um, your feet to help soothe them and relax them. It alleviates a headache, so... Um, 
you when you're if you've got a headache you know have an epsom salt bath and it will relieve the headache it ends constipation detoxes your body gets rid of a hangover hang on not that i drink anymore but this might have been interesting a few years ago um I'm not sure what the recipe is for that, but I'll have to find out. Reduces the appearance of bruises, recovers from jet lag, wards off insomnia, prevents injuries and speeds healing, a de-stress. Um, so when you can have a soak in the bath, if you're feeling stressed, uh, when the kids go to bed or when they have their nap or go to school or whatever, it's perfect for that. It's um, good for an eye wash, relieves minor skin irritations. Pulls out a splinter, remove, relieves gout, gets grease out of your hair, creates a volumizing mask for your hair, gets rid of frizz, another one, protects hair from heat damage, and get rid of styling buildup. It just goes on and on and on. And Jane, I noticed Jane mentioned it in one of her gardening roundup posts, but it's an excellent fertilizer. So the magnesium in the Epsom salts helps boost plant root absorption, um, so, you know, you can, without going buying expensive um, gardening plant fertilizers, you know, you've got this all round product that's just got so many different um, qualities. It's good as a soil prep. It keeps leaves from curling, makes your roses bloom, helps plants weather the shock from um, transplant, being plants tr transplanted. It helps um, produce grow. Oh yeah, here's Jane. She's just saying, saying that. Sorry, I didn't see your comment, Jane. But um, it keeps fresh flowers. Um, oh hi, yeah. I saw your mum and dad went back, Jane. Thanks for joining. Um, so a pinch of Epsom salts in your vase of flowers helps keep the blooms um, going for longer. So just those two products alone, you know, you've got oodles and oodles of recipes. If you've got a few essential oils. Um, I know Jen has done some amazing, uh, she did an amazing live back in February, I think it was, on how to do um, what essential oil recipes you can use. But I've got my little um, essential oil here, um, which I use for cleaning and personal use. I've got tea tree, ylang ylang, peppermint, uh, wild orange, lavender, geranium. Um, lemon so the lemon and orange are always really nice bergamot or bergamot I'm not sure how to pronounce that Epsom salts is great for good strong cell development in plants too thanks Jane um, so yeah so many lots of um, great little things so have your essential oils I know Janet is a young living um, distributor and if you've got um, if you're a doTERRA or um, Young Living distributor, by all means, feel free to share any tips in the group at any time with any of your um, hints and, and how-tos. So just going through my pantry this morning, I just sort of looked and I, from memory some of the things that I've made in the past. Um, good old-fashioned rolled oats. Um, I've got these out to make some Anzac biscuits for the weekend because it's Anzac Day here on Sunday. Um, my daughter used to suffer from um, eczema and skin conditions when she was young. So I always used to just put some in a, an old stocking and let it run un, under the bath to help with um, skin conditions. But you can make up all sorts of... I've got so many recipes on how to use um, rolled oats in beauty treatments, um, day spa at home treatments, whether it's for a, a bath soak or a scrub. Um, some of the recipes I've seen have suggested that you grind them up. So if you've got a food processor, it's best if you grind them up into like a coarse powder and you get the um, benefits from them. So they can be used in, you know, body scrubs or whatever. My honey is getting a little bit depleted, but honey is such a natural um, organic product that's so beneficial for your hair and your skin. And it makes up um, good a good recipe as well. I don't have any vanilla extract. I've only got imitation vanilla at the moment. But you can imagine the smell of um, vanilla 
coming out of your beautiful bath or your beautiful face scrub or your body scrub when the warm water hits it um, vanilla beans or um, any kind of vanilla is going to be really good look at your tea bags i wanted to show with you i mentioned my tea caddy i think in another live but i treated myself to this a little while ago and it was only from one of those dollar shops but it's um quite lovely to keep all my tea bags in and um just some of the i don't have too many herbal teas i'm not a big fan but um i love chamomile tea and this one's chamomile honey and vanilla and it's just gorgeous to drink but it's also really good for the um medicinal uh, properties and also just the smell it's just lovely that's really nice um, orange and cinnamon is another herbal tea that i've got which is really nice now why don't you make yourself a, um, a herbal tea drink and use it in your um, beauty regime as well lemon and ginger you know that's a, a really nice one or even a chai tea you know there's some really nice um it's a vanilla flavored chai so that one would be really nice with the um, smells of um, all those different spices um, we've all got sugar i don't know any house that doesn't have sugar your good old white sugar um, is makes an excellent um, face scrub or body scrub brown sugar also because it's um, more fine um, you can just mix that with just brown sugar and olive oil makes a beautiful face scrub um, i'll have all the quantities um, etc in in the um, recipes that i'm going to um, finish typing up and put together but they're just some of the things um, that i've got i don't think i've got anything else out of here but another thing if you've got milk powder a lot of people use um, i used to buy milk powder um, and make some up for baking or if i made up a dry mix for baking whether it was for a pancake mix a bulk pancake mix or a bulk cake mix i used uh, milk powder and that makes a beautiful um, bath soak so if you use uh, milk powder with essential oils and some dried flowers like lavender or dried rosebuds you know imagine that imagine just lying that in that in the bath so that's just some of the things that i've just got normally every day i never run out of any of these things and they can they can make you feel wonderful they can make you feel healthier and improve so much of your skin and um oh jane's just said um grow lemon balm and make some delicious energy boosting tea from it thanks jane i do have one um, recipe here with lemon balm in it so if you do grow lemon balm it is good um, another thing that I, I just read that's going to be in the recipe is rice water so if you've got jasmine rice it does say jasmine rice but I've not um, seen it mentioned any other rice but if you've got that water that you soak uh, that you drain off your jasmine rice wait till it's cooled down of course um, use that as as a toner for your skin pomegranate juice is supposed to be really good for anti-aging as is green tea um yeah chamomile tea apple cider vinegar is another one um so many different things um the zests when you squeezed your oranges or your lemons or limes if you're not using the zest for whatever making your own diy cleaning um, products use it zest it all up and dry it and then you can use that in your bath soak like a beautiful lime or lemon bath soak um, quinoa is also good if you've got quinoa in the fridge that's a good body scrub or face scrub eucalyptus leaves if you've got eucalyptus trees growing around you we're lucky here in Australia that we've got lots around us well I do um, where I live and if the branches fall off um, grab those eucalyptus leaves and and soak them put them in the bath um, lemon balm was one I had pink Himalayan salt too 
It has calcium, iron, copper, iodine, zinc, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, and selenium. I don't even know what selenium is. But um, a 400 gram tub of that from our local, one of our local chains of supermarkets, Woolworths, here in Australia, costs less than $6. And, you know, you can use that in your cooking, but you can also create some beautiful bath soaks and um, body scrubs out of that. Um, you can also add moisturizing oils. I do have some jojoba oil around, but almond oil, they're all readily available from the chemist, from the pharmacy. So um, if you want to add a bit of um, moisturizing oil, you can do that. But don't forget about the good old coconut oil. I swear it's just one of the best things. And it's great in cooking and it's great for your skin. So thank you very much for joining me today. Um, just give me a bit of time to finish typing up all of these recipes that I talked about today. Have a little hunt in your pantry. Oh, coffee grounds. If Also, if you have, um, if you make your own coffee, coffee pods or um, percolated coffee, Save those coffee grounds because they make an excellent, excellent scrub um, for your skin. And you can add some vanilla and some other scents. So um, thank you very much for joining me. I want you to keep some of these in mind too for um, the May challenge. I'm not giving too much away, but you'll be, um, I'm really looking forward to sharing the May challenge and keep some of these um, DIY treatments in mind. Um, Jen's just said, thanks for all the great info. I'm excited to try a recipe with tea. I've never done that before. So, yeah, you, and, you know, you can make your own tea bags um, out of um, muslin or, you know, if you make your own herbal tea with the dried leaves or um, dried things, those um, tea strainer type things, I can't remember what they're called now, tea infuser, you know, you can run that uh, or let that sit in the bath to um, permeate the water. You can um make your own face pads you know treat yourself to a beautiful hand towel and some um face face reusable face wipes or make your own face wipes and create this little place in this in your bathroom to create this um, ambience and this mood light a candle play some music and really spoil yourself and treat yourself because you so deserve it so stay tuned for the may challenge i can't wait and go hunting through that pantry and you'll be amazed at what you can find. Thanks very much for joining me today and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.